Hello everyone, I'm Zenith08, and today we're going to be doing another Minecraft mod review. Today's mod is Rails of War Redux. Redux? Redo? Whatever. We're doing it again. Last time, if you saw the video, we had a whole bunch of things go wrong, everything glitched out, and, well, it didn't turn out the best. To be fair, that was our second video, so we've been proved over a while. With that said, we're now here to bring you a new Rails of War video. Hopefully we fixed some of the bugs since last time, and for those of you who have seen both copies of the video, you tell us, have we improved? Thank you all, let us know in the comments below. Anyways, let's get on to this mod. This mod is all about big trains, big tracks, and cool animations. We've got already a switch, and there is even diagonal track. This mod is not using the same system as default minecarts, and that allows it to do pretty much whatever it wants. My brother there was in a... Uh, what's he putting in the chat bar? He was in a O-Class engine, and these are just some of the biggest, fastest engines in the game. I'm going to quickly cover some of the other engines we have in the mod, and then we'll cover some of the items it adds that are pretty, more so generic, but they're still cool and they help add to the train experience. First off, we have the Shepernov engine. I feel like this is in every single train mod there is out there, because it is one of the earliest steam engines. Looks like that. Wonderful model. But the coolest part about this mod is if you fuel it by right-clicking with coal, then you get in the train, and you go start forwards, the wheels are entirely animated. And not only that, I can walk around in this compartment where I am, if I were on a bigger train. And you can see there, my brother is mucking around with his invisibility. I don't know why. So, we've got here a slant track as well. This is just a way to go up or down. Uh, I started going backwards there. And you can see the BR080 that my brother was in earlier. Right there, I just pressed the B key to stop myself before I hit him. And that's pretty much the controls. So if you missed it, it's R to go forwards. F to go backwards or slow down, and V to stop slowly. B is the brake, which will stop you instantly. Moving on from that, we've got a couple more engines here. We have the tank engineer and the other tank engineer, the blue one. Oh yeah, all locomotives in this mod can be dyed, and we'll show that off later. So we've got both tank engineers here. One of them is blue. One of them is green. They ultimately use the same model, other than color. Doesn't matter, though, because they both look cool. And you can change the color even further, even to purple. Yep, there you have it. If you're either a girl, or you just really like... Why am I falling? There we go. If you're a girl, or you just really like the color purple for some reason, you can have a purple train. There you go, guys. Alright, now let's look into the coupling system and a few other things. There are a bunch of passenger carriages, and it would be relatively slow to cover them, so I'll just do some of the coolest ones at random. First off, we've got our third class passenger wagon, and there is an accompanying first class that I'll show you. Uh, there is... yeah, um, no, is there? What kind of mod is this? They don't have first class... What, what is that? Okay. Well, we've got a normal tank. That allows for liquids. Oh, none of these have crafting recipes, if you're wondering. It's a very early stage mod, and it doesn't have everything yet. We've got tank wagons, and we've got a flatbed. These are just four that I chose at random, but you get the idea that the models are pretty cool, and all of the wheels are perfectly animated. You could not tell the difference. You'd think that they were um, working and actually spinning. So, that's very cool. Neat to see. My brother cleaning that mess up. Thank you. And now we're going to move on. We've also got the hand car. This is what we we're using to do the testing on the tracks. And it's just cheap. It also doesn't require fuel to be powered, unlike every other locomotive in the mod, which is all steam locomotives. Hey, Zenith. Yep. Are you experiencing any, um, any lag? I'm not, you? Yeah, the, that's why I was cleaning up the trains. Oh, okay, start axing your graphical settings. Yeah. Please actually don't place a lot of trains. Okay. So, 
This mod also has a bunch of difficulties when running client server, so just be aware of that, where we've had some troubles with it and we're barely getting it to work now. So if we have anything go wrong, you can chalk it up to the client server stuff of this mod not happening right at all. Alright, so really quickly here, let's just cover some of the other items added in the mod. We've got a loop, some hats, some boots, some switch stands, and a pry bar. The loop, I, I legitimately have no idea what the loop does. I'm not sure if it does anything right now or if it's an idea for later, but for now, it doesn't do anything important. The engineer's cap, coat, shirt, pants, and boots just look really nice to wear. And the switch stand allows you to operate a switch. So you can see here that if a train were to go this way, it would go straight into that siding. And we're, we can actually show that off with this handcart here. There I'm going go. to take the train. Nope, I'm driving. Why you? Because I'm making the video. So, you can see here that I'm running this without any coal. And let's just go a bit further. There we go. Now, if my brother were to click the switch stand, I've do already it again done here it. just to see the animation. So you can see there that it is entirely animated. And with it like this, just leave it on the other side. Yes, there, good. It would go the other way. Let's go. And you can see there that I now went the other way, and it is again perfectly animated, so much so that you would not know the difference. Unfortunately, there's no buffers to go diagonally yet. I hope they add that soon, but I know adding the model for it must be hard. Alright, so there's the basic items. Now let's cover the last key component to this mod. You have to be able to couple two trains together. Due to some flaws in the mod's programming, you can only have a locomotive and a carriage coupled, or two carriages coupled together. It's not possible to make a train any longer. I'm not sure why, but I hope it gets fixed soon, because then it could lead to some really awesome shots for video making, or just for playing with and showing off to your friends. So we're going to set up our two carriages here using the third class passenger engine and the tank engine here. There we go, I'm having a bunch of lag now. But the item we're going to need to couple these is the pry bar. Remember me talking about that earlier? Totally glossed over it. Well, this is what it's for. I'm going to stand between the trains, because that makes it easiest to do. And you just left-click with the pry bar, and left-click with the pry bar again, and it couples. And you have to make sure you click both trains. And my brother is fueling it. Is he going to drive it to show this off? Please do. Uh, what color did you make your train? I didn't. Okay. Are you in? Are you on the train? I'm not. Oh no. Get in the carriage. All right. Should totally mention this. You can totally ride the passenger carts, and you can even walk around inside the passenger cart. It's not a hassle at all. It just works, and it all works properly. You can't Ready sit to go? in the chairs, but yep. All aboard! So you can see there that everything is working properly. The entire interior model of the train is just perfect. It is really well done. Congratulations for that. And yeah, even diagonal track from inside the train or outside of the train is perfectly animated, works perfect, looks perfect. So, that's been Rails of War Take 2, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed the mod. I'm just checking that we haven't forgotten anything, and we haven't. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Rails of War the second time around. Now, if only my brother would tell me what color his train is. Orange. Okay. There you have it, guys. You can dye your train literally any color, and it doesn't matter. I don't think you can dye the passenger carriages, though. Can you? No. Already tested it. Aww. I wanted a purple passenger carriage to go with my purple train. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that recently a friend showed me a server, Craft Destiny. So I wanted to share it with all of you guys. The IP is on your screen now. Go check out the server, and I'll see you in the next video.